Hi everyone, welcome to MZ Lodge from the week. Uh, yeah, we took little Yolande up to Sydney through the week and uh, probably a bit disappointing. She uh, just didn't fire at a shot at all. Um, she's always been a filly that sort of gets back and gets home hard and um, she just failed to run on at all. She, uh, whether we struck a heavy track, whether it was that or whether she just didn't handle that way of going or the Sydney way of going or whether she just didn't travel all that well. It's a big trip for a young two-year-old, I suppose, but really disappointing on the um, face value. But anyway, um, she's come home and she's settled in back home here well. So she'll now go to the paddock and uh, be set for the spring and uh, looks like she's going to be well above average sort of two-year-old filly. So as a three-year-old fillies if she uh, matures up she may even make an oak sort of filly which is pretty exciting for everybody uh, through the week just had a couple of horses trial um uh, Macrobius trialed and Yanga trialed. Um, both those horses will definitely need another trial before they go to the races. Um, a horse called Moot had his first trial and uh, he was okay, um, knocked up a fair bit, so um, I'll probably give him another trial before he goes to the races. Really nice little two year old called Gallant I Am, a little I Am Invincible two year old. Um, he, uh, he's been a little bit of a slow learner, but he's sort of starting to put it all together now, and I thought he trialed up okay. And uh, he might just need one more and then maybe go to have a little break and come back for the spring, or whether he uh, goes straight to the races off the back of that, I'm not really sure and um Horse called Northern Soul. Just give him a light jump out. I just uh, give him a gallop a couple of weeks ago, and he's pulled up with the, just feeling one of his knees. And we've treated that. And uh, this was his sort of first gallop back. Uh, Ryan Maloney came down and rode all the horses, and he gave it gave uh, Northern Soul quite a big rap. So that was good. He'll um, probably have a nice proper trial in a couple of weeks, and, uh, and then he can go back to the races. So he showed plenty of last time in. So he looks like to be a nice horse. Yeah, runners this week, um, I was going to run So You Pink on Friday, but she uh, just left a little bit of feed through the last couple of days, so um, she might be just coming down with something, so I won't be running her Friday, she'll get scratched, you'll see her in the race book, but she'll get scratched. Um, uh, on Saturday, we'll probably, uh, we'll take um, King Manu up to Benalla, and step him up to the 2,000 metres, he's sort of been ranging up on the outside of him, looking at the winner on the corner over shorter distances, we've just been sort of whacking away a little bit, so he gets his chance up to 2,000 metres, um, only a small horse and carrying big weight might become against him as well but anyway see the horse seems to be going okay uh, we'll step out a horse called Tempest Rock you know, having his first up run this time in he'll either go to Benalla on Saturday or Kilmore Monday over 1200 meters he uh, actually won first up last time in um, in a lowly graded race so um, he sort of uh, his works okay he trialed up fair I thought the other day so um, he could sort of certainly run a place at long odds um, on Sunday, Terrain, Terrain Cup Day, Sunday, so anyone gets a chance, get down to Terrain Cup Day, that's always a great day. Um, I'll probably take GG Girl, uh, we'll give a bit of pace work with both her and Kawabata tomorrow, and um, we'll probably take them down to uh, Terrain on Sunday, it just all depends on how they work in the morning. But um, both of those horses, Kawabata's on her way to uh, the South Australian Classic, um, this is her, sort of her second major lead up race to it. Uh, 1800 metres should be right up her alley, and then we'll go to a 2000 metre race and then step up to the 2400, which uh, I just Will suit her down the ground. Very hard to find horses that are genuine 2400 metre horses, and she's one. Gigi Girl ran a good second the other day, played up behind the barriers and over raced a fair bit. She trialed it through the week and trialed up really well, so she'll, she's ready to go back to the races now. Um, and uh, on Monday, we, I might run, I ran Morelto through the week and we put a crossover noseband on her to sort of stop her hanging, and then she just really fought it and, and went terrible. So we've taken that gear off her. I'll just pop her out of the barriers here on Friday, and uh, if she jumps out okay, we might even back her up on Monday at Kilmore. Yeah, our Beat Peak competition was a massive success. We had over 70 people uh, have a crack at tipping. Um, four people actually got up and beat Pete, um, but just goes to show uh, he doesn't do too bad a job every week, Peter. One of his great mates, Phil McTaggart, he's, uh, he's actually won it, and uh, he tipped three winners on the first day, and good on your tags. Hope you give stick it right up, Pete. Thanks very, very much to uh, Pet Stock. They uh, sponsored us and gave us a couple of hundred bucks, which uh, tags will get hold of now, and uh, I'm sure he'll spend it wisely. Um, Pete's uh, away at the moment and uh, he's just having eye surgery so he's handballed off to uh, Craig Isaacs the uh, race course manager here at Geelong Racing Club. Um, Craig was actually one of the four people who actually beat Pete in the uh, in the tipping comp so Craig's up and about. Here's Craig. G'day everyone. On Saturday we're going to head to Caulfield where we have a good track in the rail at nine metres. I think that'll suit the on paces. So taking that into account, race nine, number two, Gregor's, is my best bet on the program. Craig Williams on board, barrier one. Hopefully Craig can control the pace and $5 fixed odds, I think that's a good bet. My best each way is in the lucky last, race 10, number 13, Mirage, for Linda Meach and Peter Moody. 
Mirage has a former Hong Kong Galloper who's won four from five. Uh, 54 kilos, Linda can go to the front and once again, hopefully control the pace. And at $10, I think that's a good each way bet. So remember, gamble responsibly, have a great weekend, and we'll catch you next week. That's it for another week at Emsley Lodge. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much everyone involved in our, uh, in our tipping comp. Uh, 70 people were involved, and believe it or not, 50 didn't back one winner. 10 races, couldn't back one winner. That's a disgrace. Anyway, it goes to show Pete's not doing a too bad a job every week. Um, our new barn gets uh, started this week. We've had a few issues through council needing um, disabled access, etc. So uh, that's all got the green light this week, so that's really good. Um, the Vobus Gold sale is on at Inglis this Saturday and Sunday, so if you, uh, the price range is pretty good, tend to be around about 20, 30,000, and uh, I think Danny Curran bought one there last year for $700, and it's earned 200,000 already in its first start, so probably a more realistic um, uh, sale there, and um, certainly at the uh, lower end, that uh, if you want to shop around, it's probably a couple of good bargains. Well done to the racing, Geelong Racing Club, uh, they've got a Metropolitan meeting this Wednesday, and uh, that should be pretty good, go for the club to go, um, have a uh, sand down meeting transferred to Geelong, and um, until next week, see you later. So he'll more than like to go to the paddock. Um, still got a bit of shy in, no, I won't say that. Um, and, uh, they've had a, a month or so in the spring. That's uh, shit, that's shit. That's shit. Uh, plenty of good racing. Be hopefully um, a couple of Geelong horses might get a run in one of them and uh, put out, no, I don't want to say that, that's no good. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Pete. He's gone from being the greatest tips of all time to can't can't tip a winner, can't tip, can't tip anything at all. And uh, hopefully they, all the boys go well. Um, uh, and I've got nothing else to say. What else?